Hey, it's a great day and I am just popping in to tell you about a few things that are making me happy right now. The world is complicated and it seems everywhere you look, someone or something is trying to tell you how bad everything is. The truth is, the world is beautiful and good things abound. So let's spend the next few minutes focusing on those. Hi, I'm Amy and I make things. And today I'm making sure that I remember to focus on joy that abounds. Come on, I'll show you. The first thing that's cheering me up right now is helping to do the intake processing for the upcoming Austin area quilt show. I get to see all the quilts as they come in and read their stories and it's just, it's delightful every day. Another thing, I'm getting stronger every day and continuing my physical therapy to rehab this hip, hip <laughs> and build strength. I am walking without support most of the time and while I hate going to PT at seven o'clock in the morning, I know it's worth it. I am making lots of small projects, some of them back here. Oh, they're blocked. <laughs> but for our quilt show boutique, and I'm having a great time doing some production sewing and watching all the little projects pile up. It's kind of exciting to see things getting finished. Another thing cheering me up is that I am teaching a workshop and giving a lecture for the Austin Area Quilt Guild September meeting. I'll link everything below if you're in the area. I would love to see you there. And getting ready for that is stretching my, stretching my creative muscles. They're a little rusty in this area. It's been a minute since I taught a larger group and planning and getting organized. It's kind of exciting. And I get to buy more glue sticks. If you know, you know. <laughs> Like I say, I'll drop a link below. I just finished reading a really interesting book called The Courage to Be Disliked. If you like philosophy and delving into inner work, you might enjoy it. The entire thing is written as a conversation between a philosopher teacher and a rather reluctant student, and I love that style choice. Very interesting read will really make you think. Another thing that's making me happy, I am listening to more music while I sew. And I have a play, couple of playlists that I love. Right now, I could listen to Cry To Me by Solomon Burke on repeat for a long time. Drives my family a little crazy, but that's what headphones are for. I'll leave my Spotify, Spotify, Spotify playlist linked below. I got some happy mail this week. First, I got this three yard quilts book from my friend Amy and she had an extra and asked if I wanted it. Of course I do. This one's made with fat quarters instead of three single yards. This is an interesting concept and I'm excited to explore it. Thank you so much, Amy. And I got another beautiful book in the mail. Total surprise to me. A sweet viewer came across this and thought of me and sent, just sent it with a note and you know who you are, knows how much I love Eleanor Burns. Thank you so very much. And then there's the box. That Lululemon box back here, it's not Lululemon, it's here for a reason. This box, this box is from Donna <coughs> over at Handmade by Ying. And it's a challenge for me. And I've been waiting to open it until I had the moral support of you guys on the camera. So here, we're gonna open it together and see what she has challenged me to and what trouble we're gonna get into together. Have a knife. I'm gonna try not to kill myself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I have a note, I have a note. And Donna planned this, I believe, before she had her stroke. So it's been put on hold for a minute and it may be put on hold a little bit even now, but we're gonna go forth and see what we can see. 
Hey girl, thank you for playing along so well with the last challenge. I loved it and I am sure you did as well. Of course I did, Donna, thank you. Let's play again. Should you accept this one? The rules are so easy. See below. I must use all the fabric scent. Oh dear. I may add one yard of fabric to my project and yes I have split ours into equal shares. Must measure at least 60 by 60. Donated to a charity of my choice this time. Each one of them will be with a joint announcement from us at our channel. Heal up my friend. Drop as many sneak peeks as you would like and as you can and we'll, we'll s <laughs> hugs and love and total healing. Love, Donna. Donna. Donna, what have you done? Guys, look. Oh my God, it's so heavy. <laughs> Amy DeMint, you, my friend, are now challenged. Guys, can you see what this is? It's taped shut, too. It's little bitty snippets, and it looks like all solid fabric. These are the off cuts from your legit kits, aren't they, Donna? These are going to be random crazy pieces. <laughs> Bleep. Sorry. Oh my goodness. And then there are three little, looks like three or four little eight yard or sample size. But yes. See, look, it's got the legit kids numbers on it, coding on it. <gasps> oh, Donna, what have you gotten me into? All right. I'm going to set this back here so we can see it. Donna, girl, you gonna make me work for this one. We'll have to keep you posted as we work out the details and the dates. That is a challenge. Oh my goodness. Okay, blah, 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 me, me, me. Enough about me. The biggest thing that's cheering me up right now, and it shouldn't be, I, it's not, it's not a surprise. It's chatting with you guys on the community page linked below. It is such a fun way to stay connected and learn a little bit about each other and you know of course silliness is bound to slip in there as well but it is bringing me joy every single day. Thank you so much. What is cheering you right now as you go about your day making this complicated world more beautiful just by being in it? Let me know in the comments and check out that community page. I'm Amy and I'll see you next time.